He told me how ashamed she felt and how sorry she was and how much she loved me and wanted to still stay married. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post, guys. I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title. Let's just get into it. So, I am new to this website. Just found it yesterday. My story is this. I'm a 48-year-old man. My 46-year-old wife and I have been married for three plus years. This is the second marriage for both of us. My wife has three children from her first marriage. Her 14-year-old son lives with us. The older two live on their own. I have two children from my first marriage, a son age 11 and a daughter age 13, both of whom live with us. Our marriage has always been rocky. A product of the blended family, I guess. My wife has always been kind of secretive, I guess. A year into the marriage, I found that she texted and called an old boyfriend hundreds of times over several months. I tried to put a stop to that, but two weekends ago, I caught her in a full-blown affair. I went camping overnight with a couple of friends. She was home by herself because our kids were at the were at the exes the weekend. He ended up spending Saturday night with another man. Found out because she left her Kindle out, and I saw that she has been instant messaging this other man. The messages were extremely graphic sexually. I was stunned. I confronted her when she got home, and she admitted it. She said it had been going on for six months. He told me how ashamed she felt and how sorry she was and how much she loved me and wanted to still stay married. I felt that if I hadn't have seen the messages, she would still be having the affair and I'd be none the wiser. I feel she was sorry she got caught. Absolutely, sir. What makes this worse is that my first wife did this to me also. My wife knew how hurt I was by all this, yet she cheated anyway. I'm kind, of at a, I'm kind of at a loss by all this. I threatened to kick her out, but I feel bad for my stepson. He's innocent. I think about reconciling, but how do I get past this loss of trust? I don't think I can ever get past that. She let me check her phone and Kendo and computer. But how do I know if she's erased anything? Besides, she resents it very much when I do check the thing. Part of me wants to reconcile because I still do love her very much. Another part of me wants to move on and put her behind me. I don't know if I could ever trust another woman. I told myself after my first wife did this that I would never let it happen again. Well, it happened again. I don't know what to do. Wow, let me give my thoughts. Dude, you gotta move on. You have to. You don't have a choice, man. Told you, so you promised yourself if this happens again, or this is never gonna happen again, and it happened, you have to put your foot down and just walk away from this situation. I'm not here to tell you don't ever get married again because it's going to happen again and again. There's people who get remarried and get married or find someone else and they live happy and they're, they're good. But I'm telling you for sure, get out of this situation. For sure, this situation is not good. You know it's not. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping you're in the comments. So, um... Let's just go to the comments. Dump her. She is not worth another tear. Nope. 
You have been through this before, so you know what now must be done. You are so early into this marriage and your new second wife is treating you like this? You have been cuckolded again. You have your... <laughs> Dang. <laughs> you have your evidence. She doesn't care about you, your children, and even her own. File for divorce. Absolutely. Someone said, she married you to finish raising her son. If you reconcile, expect her to leave when he finishes high school. What happened to her first marriage? If you can talk to her ex. He had at least an EA before this, and it was probably a PA too. In any event, there is almost no chance a serial cheater will change. They don't love you like that. But if you're dumb enough to take them and their baggage she's like oh i got one i got one he's an idiot i'm about to milk him for everything i can and in her head in her head she's doing the right thing because in her nature is i gotta take care of my kids i gotta make sure my kids are okay i gotta protect them and all this stuff and i need a man to protect me and to provide for us He's going to lie to you in your face. I love you. You are the best person I have ever been with. Oh, what would I do without you? It's all lies. <laughs> it's all lies. So I love this. Com I saw that comment. I love this comment. She married you to finish raising her son. Eh, ain't that the truth? Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'm going to catch you guys at the next one. I cheated on my boyfriend and want to come clean, but don't know how. I, female 20 years old, have a confession to make. I cheated on my boyfriend, male 28, a few times and I want to come clean. So some backstory. I know you are all going to jump on the age gap, so let me explain. My boyfriend and I met when I was 18 and he was 25. I was just finishing up high school and was a youth delegate at a convention when we met. We hit it off, exchanged numbers, and stayed in touch. As I was looking for a career and university advice, I contacted him frequently, and we developed a strong affinity and connection. Over time, this grew into a mutual feelings. After another friend of mine, also female 18 then, who I guess also became his friend, forced us to admit our feelings. She was the type who could figure these things out. So then we started dating. Our relationship over that summer went well. He had never been in a relationship before while I have had some teen dates, but nothing serious. Now again, you might think someone being 25 and never having had any relationship would be a red flag, but in this case, it was pure false alarm. He was an amazing partner, being respectful and kind and never once pushing boundaries. I love having an older boyfriend who already was on his way up in his career. It made me feel special that a man with a good job saw something in me, a young woman who just graduated high school. His mentorship, advice, and desire to see me succeed made him both a partner but also a mentor, something which made things really special. Anyway, that summer we didn't progress beyond kissing and I went off to a university. He visited me regularly and attended all college balls with me. My college is a bit formal and traditional in that regard. He helped me manage school and extracurriculars, helped me study, aided my political ambitions. We also got closer intimately. Our first time was in a nice hotel room after the first year finals. It really felt like he was taking me on our honeymoon. Our relationship was amazing, but something was missing. University is normally a time when people explore themselves and really enjoy themselves. Plus, as sad as it is, being sexually active with the right people is needed to resume build and advance. Student politics is quite a big deal at my college due to a lot of overambitious people here. So I did things I deeply regret and had affairs with other guys. It started small, overly long and romantic like hugs with guys to get political votes. But soon it worsened. I was willing to do things to get ahead. Started with some kissing but soon went beyond. On four different occasions, I did it with powerful guys to help boost my political career. Again, college level politics and status is a really big deal here. 
At that time, I felt I was doing what needed to be done and what everyone does. But soon after, I started regretting it. I'm just finishing up my third year of undergrad, and I'm realizing how stupid it was. Not stupid politics. I do very much care about my college affairs, but how it was stupid to sell out my values and betray my loving boyfriend for personal ambition and resume padding. I tried to justify it by telling myself that I'd use connections to land him a better job, or if I got one myself, I'd be sure to spend more money on him. But those were just excuses. I was wrong. I admit it. I messed up and need help. How do I come clean? To sum everything up, I cheated on my boyfriend in undergrad, including getting it in with four people. I deeply regret it. How do I come clean? Alright, update. I, female 20, cheated on my boyfriend, male 28, and want to come clean, but don't know how. Anyway, last Saturday, I invited him to come to the lakefront for a walk and told him to clear his day as I had some important news to share. I forewarned him that the news wasn't the most pleasant, but was necessary. Meanwhile, I started working on an apology letter. I hand wrote it, and doing so was extremely painful, as I had to relive the regret of all that I did. It especially hurt because I used my special pen that he gave me as a gift to celebrate my first office job. I broke down several times in tears. I wrote and sealed the letter and took it with me to the park as would be normal. I baked some cookies for us to eat as normal. We met at a cafe. He bought coffee for us both. And we then proceeded to the lakefront park. I sat us down on a bench and I took out my home baked cookies for us to share. I then proceeded to tell him about college politics and how crookedness involves people doing what they regret. I then told him that, that I partook in it and told him clearly, while crying, all that I did which I deeply regretted. I gave him the letter saying that I had explained it all there. I apologized extensively, but he was upset, angry, and hurt, the latter being the most prominent. While he tried to hide it, he was clearly crying. He walked to the road, purchased what appeared to be pure espresso, got in a taxi, a rare thing for him to do as he would usually walk, bike chair, or use transit, and he left. I then called my best friend, aside from him, the one whom I said got us to confess our feelings, and told her everything. She was shocked and angry at me, but also understood that I had deeply regretted what I did. She said that she would go visit him to console him while I should give him his space and continue to show remorse. I sent him a card, once again deeply apologizing. As per our friend, he is severely depressed and extremely hurt. He has not broken up with me, but he is not speaking with me. As for myself, I keep feeling the regret and pain, especially with all the reminder. For example, he is the one that has purchased directly or indirectly, most of my wardrobe and all of my watches and other business accessories. He is the one who helped me prep for all my interviews and mentored me every step of the way. He is the one who was always there for me when times were tough. We had a great relationship and I ruined it by hurting him. I know what I did was wrong. I felt differently at the time it happened, but I realized that I had messed up. I hurt both him and myself and I deeply regret what I did. I hope that he and I can start working towards reconciliation. To sum everything up, I confess to my boyfriend and he is deeply hurt as I am. Wow. Let me give my thoughts. She just has no respect for him. Think about it. If you you she claims she loves him that much. Why, you're putting things over him. You clearly are putting your career over him. And if that's what you really want, just go for your career and do you. Like, leave him alone. Why drag him in your mess? But here he is. He's buying all these things for you, which is a no-no. And I had to learn the hard way doing things for people. And they don't appreciate it. And, and they actually respect you less when you do more for them. And at a young age, I remember thinking like, oh, I, I just need to do more. I need to do more. And it 
backfired in my face. And, and this is what's happening to him. He's thinking he can shower her with everything. I, What he's doing, he's pushing her to a level that where she wants to be. She just, don't want, she just doesn't want to be there with him. You knew from the get-go, in my opinion, from the very beginning, she knew she was going to use this person. When she first met him, oh, he's a good mentor. He has a job for himself. He can help me with interviews. He can help me get into colleges. He can help me do this, help me do that. She didn't love him. She loved what he could do for her. While she's in college, oh, he's buying me this. He's buying me that for work. He's doing this for me. He's doing that. It's all what he can, it's all what he can do for her. That's it. The love isn't for him. She doesn't have love for him. You know, someone even mentioned in the comments yesterday, hey, hold on, she spent a whole summer kissing and making out with this guy and then gives it up to guys in college. She, she, she doesn't respect him and she doesn't want to be with him. But she can't, she's not going to just say that because you know why? Because he buys her things. He gives her things. He does things for her. You know, she, she, she wants to go on trips and she wants to use you for what you can provide. I hope he stays away. She said he hasn't contacted her and he's not speaking to her. I hope it stays that way. You don't deserve that type of person. You don't deserve that type of man. You don't. And you don't want that type of man. You want to have a successful career. You'll do anything to get it. And, and, and that's more important to you. Having... Someone that cares for you and that's going to be there for you forever is not something you care about. And after, if that's how you feel, cool. That's okay. Don't drag him along with you, though. That's not fair and that's not cool. You don't do people like that. What do you guys think about the update for this one? Let me know in the comments. Let's go ahead and check out the comments here. Someone says, after reading both of these posts, I'm going to be very blunt without being disrespectful. You don't deserve him and I hope he breaks up with you. After everything he did for you, you choose to betray his trust. You said he helped you with interviews and mentorship. So why didn't you approach him on how to dodge the obstacle? Then to have the audacity in the comments to say that as a woman, this was what had to be done to get ahead. I'm a guy and I've said some pretty bad things in my time but geez that opinion of yours is an insult and a slap in the face of your own gender i don't think you love your boyfriend and if this story were true i feel like there's more to it than you, that you won't let on but i don't care if you love him like you claim despite your contradictory actions in my opinion leave him alone and finish what you started so that it's not a total waste but once you get that but once you get to that position you won't be happy Everyone always knows who, who slept their way up the ladder of success, and you will never receive the respect your position demands. One day a woman will truly work her way up without tarnishing your gender and kick you out of your position, and then you'll have nothing. Then all will be right in the world. Someone said, why are you hurt? Did he sleep with people at his school while you bought 90% of his things? No. You used him. Obi leaves you and dates your friend. She sounds like a way nicer person. I think he's going to sleep with your friend. Some people are saying, I hope he does. People are saying, I hope he does, to be honest. She responded and said, as revenge? Question mark. You think my friend would go for it? Wow. Someone said, I do think you should be single for a while, honestly. He sounds like a great guy and certainly didn't deserve that. You were lucky you were lucky to have him. You took advantage of his kindness in such a big way by cheating on him. And I can imagine that the betrayal he's facing is much more than your guilt. I hope you find peace with this and I also hope you can better in your future relationships. Yeah, I'm going to say this. I just my experience in not just experience with just having girlfriends, but experience having girlfriends, um, long-term relationships, experience seeing women in my family. Women, they do do this. Oh, this he this is an opportunity to move out of my mom's house. I've been staying with my mother, with my children. This is an opportunity to get out. Let me use this guy. He can put me in position to put me around people where I'm you know, important people. I can rub elbows with this person and that person. And I can use him to pay for my grad school. 
um, once I graduate, I'll just let them know that, hey, I don't think you're ambitious enough. You know, uh, I feel like um, our relationship has run its course, you know, and how and how dare that man in that position say, OK, I need my money back. I didn't pay for you to leave me. Oh, you can't do that. A lot of people do that. You guys got to be careful. Don't just be buying gifts. And if, if you if you want to get into a relationship, because I know a lot of people still believe in relationships. A lot of people still think there's hope and, and i'm i'm not knocking that i'm not knocking that we get the emails where the, where the guys are saying i've been married 20 years i'm good it is what it is but if you still believe in relationships and you're pursuing relationships do not go in buying all types of stuff spoiling her listen if she requires you to buy her things so she's happy and she wants to be around you that's a red flag Leave it alone. Guys, let me know what you think about this update. 